Hello, my name is Lucy Bauer. I'm here at the NIH Research Festival poster session. I'm here with Appertim and Michael. And Appertim, could you tell us a little bit about what your poster is about? So uh, we study this uh, region in the mouse chromosome 7, which is related to a human chromosome 10 associated with a couple of diseases called Beckwith-Wiedemann syndrome and some rhabdomyosarcomas. sarcomas. So these are, so rhabdomyosarcomas sarcomas are cancers in muscles and the Beckwith-Wiedemann are childhood uh, disorders related to overgrowth. So the region is really complicated. There's some enhancer regions and then some genes and it, we are really interested in how these all fit together, how the enhancers control the genes and, and if it has any effect outside this uh, region or not. So. Excellent, thank you. And Michael, what's your poster about? Uh, my poster is about the genetic investigations of systemic juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Mm -hmm. It's a form of arthritis where children get uh, periodic or recurrent episodes of inflammation uh, manifesting fever. Um, along with arthritis. Uh, this is a lifelong disease, and it's unclear what the genetic predisposition for this is. Uh, my poster is talking about one of the studies that we've done to try to look at the genetics of that disease. Excellent, thank you. And we heard that there is some relationship between your two posters. So what did you guys discover relates between your two posters? When I first saw Appertim's poster, I was really intrigued because his poster is demonstrating uh, a genomic configuration with an enhancer and a non-coding RNA and a protein coding gene that are in close proximity to one another and that are regulated uh, together. This is interesting to me because in a different study of systemic juvenile arthritis we found a similar association with a regulatory region coupled with a long non-coding RNA and a protein coding gene. In the case of Appertim's study, um, this region is conserved between mice and humans, so he has the ability to study this in a mouse model. Unfortunately, in the systemic juvenile arthritis uh, region, that's not present in the mouse model. And so my first question was to talk to Appertim about how he might investigate this without a model system. And do you have any ideas about how you would go about doing that? Unfortunately, uh, no, not yet anyway. Uh, yes. So we were trying to brainstorm, I mean, I was trying to think, you know, how can we approach this problem? Because it is a very tricky question to answer, a very important one, but a tricky one to answer experimentally. So yeah, we were just trying to discuss, you know, how we can go about it. Excellent. Thank you both very much.